Welcome to the part 13 of the Pitman Shorthand course. In this video, we are going to talk about Circle SS or SC. A large medial or final circle represents SES, SES, ZES or ZES. SES as in necessity, SES as in passes, ZES as in possessive and ZES as in causes. When a vowel other than a vowel as in pen intervenes, then it is indicated by placing the vowel sign within the circle. For example, in the word exist, we also have to show the e vowel sound. So we just put the vowel sign within the circle. Same as in the word exhaust, we put the vowel sign within the circle. And in the word exercised, we also have to represent the I diphthong so we simply put the diphthong within the circle. Whenever we have to represent S just after the large circle then it is indicated like this in the word exercises. The large circle can also be used to express 2S. For example in the word misspell we used just the large circle to represent the double S. Now let's take some examples so that we can look into this practically. Alright, so the first word that we are having is paces. So we see that we have this says here in this word. So to represent this says sound, we will simply be making the large circle. So this paces word will be written like this. Alright, next word is bases. So again, we have this says here, but we also have this uh, e vowel sound. So we also have to represent the vowel sign. So this basis word will be written like this. All right, so here we put the simple A vowel sound, all right? And then we just put this small dot within the circle to represent our E vowel. All right, next word is supposes. So supposes will be written like this. Right here we have this uh, says here as we can see so that's why we use this uh, large circle and this is our both of these are our vowel. Next word is excessive. So excessive will be written like this. So here we have this says so that's why we used this big circle this large circle to represent our says sound all right next word is spices again we have this says so spices will be written like this all right so we have this i diphthong also in this word spices so to represent this i diphthong we simply put this diphthong over here and that's how you write the word spices next word is roses again we have says so roses will be written like this. All right. Next word is essences. Essences will be written like this. All right. So we have this vowel here to represent our e vowel. Then we have this S, which is this one. And then we have this again vowel. A vowel to represent our a sound then we have this n which is this then we simply have this large circle which represent this says and that's our word essences next and the last word is revises so revises will be written like this okay so this is our r then we have this uh, vowel this little dot this light dot to represent our a vowel then we have this dark curve which is v and then we have this diphthong i diphthong as we have this i sound here and then simply we have this large circle which represents our says and that's our word revises so that's all for this part and i will see you in the next part